Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I'll be doing a boxy charm unboxing. So if you guys are interested in what's in my base box for the month of November, then keep on watching. And before I start, I do want to remind everybody to please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out any of my videos. And let's just hop right into this unboxing. So if you guys can tell, I am a little sick, so I'm going to try to make this video quick. But yeah, so I just received my month um november's boxy charm the premium i'm uh, not the premium the base box and i will tell you guys i'm very disappointed in this month's box um so i have the variation 53 if anybody's is interested in that and i'm gonna say right now that i'm very disappointed in this box i was really hoping to get the natasha the normal palette obviously i didn't get it um this my box personally is was very um skincare heavy this month and i on my beauty quiz on boxy charm i say i really don't i prefer more makeup than skincare but this month they literally included three skincare products and only two makeup products and one of them was my choice so with that being said i'm very disappointed in the box so i'm just going to show you um the two things that i'm actually happy that i received and one of them is this um i guess the the brand is called half cake and it's their Game Changer Lip Fondant Trio. And I'm wearing one of the shades um, today. And I don't think, I mean, I love the formula for these lipsticks. I'm telling you, I'm letting you guys know right now. I love the formula. I'm wearing this shade right here, which is called um, Theme Song. I don't think it really matches my eye look today. But either way, I love the formula. It's very lightweight. It has a, a good, like, vanilla smell to them. And, um, yeah, I love, this is the shade that I'm wearing today, which is um, Theme Song. Just gonna swatch them for you guys this is the shade um low-key right here and then the last shade which is 82 bordex it's more like a red one oh it's beautiful though it's a beautiful like burgundy dark red i think this would be so cute this is definitely my shade this one is 82 82 board decks and these retails for $32 and I'm actually really happy that I got these lipsticks um they again they're they're so smooth like I put them on they dry quick and obviously they transfer food because they're matte but yeah and I love all like the shades that are in this so this is like one of the products that I'm I was actually very happy to get and I tried it and I'm very um happy with how it turned out and then the last thing which was my choice which is the gimme brows from benefit you know it was a choice item there was this the kush mascara from milk and then a joy i think it was like a lip something with joy but i obviously i picked out the gimme brow in the shade five and yeah i actually have it on today a nice little brow gel filler thing <laughs> you know can never go wrong with brow voluminizing fiber gel and this retails for 24 dollars so those were the only two things that I'm, I was actually happy to get. Everything else is like, I'm not going to keep personally just because I don't like to keep adding things to my skincare. And I have already skincare products I'm trying to use up before I keep adding things, adding more things to them. So I'm just going to give them to my mom. And one of them, I know this was advertised, it retails for $135. It's the 1 1 Skin Acid Aqua Booster. So. This retails for $135. It says that it's a hyaluronic acid aqua booster increasing moisture levels by delivering a shot of concentrated hydrating ingredients into skin to combat both dryness and dehydration. So I think this was like the main thing in my box. And um, yeah, it's a skincare item. Um, it sounds nice, but I'm personally not going to keep it because again, I have already skincare products that I'm trying to use up. And if my, if my mom can get some use out of this, then that will be great. And I really don't have, like, that much dry skin anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, the next thing is from Versali, and it's a Quench Moisturizer Replenishing Serum. So, I got a lot of things for, like, dry skin. But this is a, um, it retails for $24, and it's a serum that helps replenish moisture with a unique complex of... So, yeah, I might keep this. I'm not sure yet. But, you know, it's a serum from Versali, and it retails for $24, so... That was the fourth item that I got in my box. And the fifth item is from Jekka Black. It's a liquid corrector in 2.0. 
um this is meet the perfect under eye brightener with disguise which disguise darkness and evens out skin tone the lightweight formula creates a natural glowing finish so this retails for five um fifteen dollars and some new launch is from jacob black i might also keep this i'm not sure but i guess it's from your under eyes it's like i don't know it's a liquid corrector though offers a light coverage and then uh corrects under eye darkness i don't know i might keep it i might not but who knows we'll see how it is but yeah that was the last thing that i got in my box and of course they have like this little natasha donna coupon but you know the peak pattern was only uh, exclusive to boxy charm so i'm hoping they have it like in their add-ons because you know sometimes or boxy pump or whatever it's called this month i hope they have it there because sometimes they sell products that were featured in the in the box on their um boxy pop or adams so i could get it that way but either way i'm not gonna cry about the palette anyways um i was interested in it and i really wanted it but i wasn't gonna cry if i didn't get it but i'm not really happy that my box this month was full of skincare because again i'm not really gonna keep any of them and on my beauty quiz which they always promote to take i specifically i specifically said i want more makeup products than skincare products so that's why it's a little disappointing that I did receive literally more than half my box is full of skincare and only two things that I'm really gonna keep and I'm really interested in maybe the Fasali one but these are definitely like the, the things that were good in my box everything else was very disappointing um I'm I want to see what's in my boxy premium I haven't received that box yet but I'm very interested in seeing what's in there hopefully it's better than my base box but we'll see but yeah this was my uh what is this my November BoxyCharm unboxing for base box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you got in your box. If you received that Natasha Denona palette. Or did you get this one. This um, skincare product. Or did you get something else. Um, let me know down in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to my channel. So you don't miss out any of my uploads. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.